Hello, I am Aditya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how a user can set up the AWS Load Balancer controller on an Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service cluster for AWS Fargate. Let's get started. The following steps show how to set up the AWS Load Balancer controller on a new Fargate cluster. You set up the AWS Load Balancer controller without any existing application load balancer ingress controller deployments. Before you get started, consider the following. Uninstall the AWS ALB ingress controller for Kubernetes. The AWS load balancer controller replaces the functionality of the AWS ALB ingress controller. Use EKCATL version 0.109.0 or greater. Install Helm on the workstation. The Hyphen hyphen region variable isn't always used in the commands because the default value for your AWS region is used. To check the default value, run the AWS configure command. To change the AWS region, use the hyphen hyphen region flag. Amazon EKS on Fargate is available in all AWS regions except China, AWS Cloud US East and AWS Cloud US West. Let's create an Amazon EKS cluster, a service account policy and RBAC policies. First. To use EKSCTL to create an Amazon EKS cluster for Fargate, run the following command. Note, you don't need to create a Fargate port execution role for clusters created using EKSCTL Fargate flag because port execution role is already created by EKSCTL. If you are planning to use an existing Amazon EKS cluster, you will need to create a new Fargate port execution role. To allow the cluster to use AWS Identity and Access Management for service accounts, run the following command. An important thing to note here is the Fargate execution role is the role that the Fargate nodes kubelet and kubeproxy use for nodes authentication. By default, Fargate pods do not have access to IMDS like regular pods running in EC2. So they will be not able to access Fargate's execution role credentials. If Fargate pods need to make use of an IAM role, you must use the IAM role for the service account. For more information, you can see AWS Load Balancer Controller and IAM roles for service accounts. To download an IAM policy that allows the AWS Load Balancer Controller to make calls to AWS APIs on your behalf, run the following command. To create an IAM policy using the policy that you just downloaded in the previous step, run the following command. To create a service account named AWS Load Balancer Controller in the Cube System namespace for the AWS Load Balancer Controller, run the following command. To verify that the new service role was created, run the following command. Now let's install the AWS Load Balancer Controller using Helm. An important thing to note here is for more information, you can see Sort Manager on the JetStack GitHub site and the discussion topic Sort Manager Issues with Fargate on the Kubernetes GitHub site. To add the Amazon EKS chart repo to Helm, run the following command. To install the target group binding custom resource definitions, run the following command. To install the Helm chart, run the following command. Now let's test the AWS Load Balancer Controller. You can use the AWS Load Balancer Controller to create either an application load balancer ingress or a network load balancer service. The following steps show how to deploy a sample app called 2048 with ALB ingress. To create a Fargate profile that's required for the game deployment, run the following command. To deploy the sample game, and verify that the AWS Load Balancer Controller creates an ALB ingress resource, run the following command. After a few minutes, run the following command to verify that the ingress resource was created. You'll see the following output. An important thing to note here is if your ingress isn't created after several minutes, then run the following command to view the AWS Load Balancer Controller logs. An important thing to note here is your logs might contain error messages that can help you diagnose issues with your deployment. Open a browser and navigate to the address URL from the previous command output to see the sample application. If you don't see anything, then wait a few minutes and then refresh your browser. 
Now let's deploy a sample application with the NLB IP mode service. To use the network load balancer IP mode, you must have a cluster running at least Kubernetes version 1.116 or higher. Step 1. To create a Fargate profile, run the following command. Step 2. To get the manifest for deploying the 2048 game, run the following command. Step 3. Open the manifest file downloaded in the previous step and delete the following ingress section. Modify the service object as follows. To create the service and deployment manifest, run the following command. To check for service creation and the DNS name of the network load balancer, run the following command. You'll see the following output. Wait a few minutes until the load balancer is active. Then, to check that you can reach the deployment, open the fully qualified domain name of the network load balancer that's referenced in the external IP section in a web browser. You can troubleshoot the AWS Load Balancer controller using the methods as shown next. If you have issues setting up the controller, run the following commands. The output from the log command returns error messages, for example with tags or subnets, that can help you troubleshoot common errors from the Kubernetes GitHub website. The get endpoints command shows you if the backend deployment pods are correctly registered. The get ingress commands show you if ingress resources are deployed. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.